Good afternoon. Welcome to my library and I am going to do a short video today on an unboxing. This is my first one on YouTube. What fun. Anyway, I ordered some time ago, I saw on Instagram, uh, for Prim Bookshops in Kinsale, Ireland, I saw that they were having a um, introduction. They were uh, having an opening for their very first publication so that makes it an extremely small press book um, which I was really excited by and it's hopefully signed I don't know because I haven't opened it yet but there it is I got this little packet I got this lovely little packet from Ireland and I know it's got a book in it because I know it's from there's only one thing that's coming from Ireland and it's a book from Prim's bookshop and um, I, I will find out in a minute when I open it. Before I do that, I thought I would take this opportunity to just quickly talk about a pretty interesting thing which um, which makes my library more interesting, makes me more interesting, makes a lot of things more fun about book collecting, and that is um, book collecting, book reading, or small press books. So I have a very small set here of a few ones that I have in my library. The first I've posted before somewhere, this is a really beautiful book. This was this was put out by Ocean Publications in Cork, printed by Lee Press. And um, it was a long time ago, and I do not think they exist anymore. Um, but the gentleman, Mr. Lee, um, gave me this book. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's uh, seen a little bit the worse for wear because it traveled all over Ireland with me, but it is a beautiful book. This is um, the Roach Collection. Um, collected it was well it was a collection um, that already existed but this was put together um, by the press to celebrate Irish music and the printing is absolutely gorgeous it's so easy to read on beautiful creamy paper it's not rag but it's probably nearly the next best thing um, in Irish and in English and I have played many of the tunes I didn't manage to spill any beer on it <laughs> astonishingly enough had a few jars when I was looking at it from time to time but no it's still a pretty 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 uh, intact and um, Ocean Publications there you are so this is um, volumes one two and three Ocean Publications there's a beautiful simple straightforward title page Let's see if I can make it show up here there you go Ocean Publications so pretty with a little harp as it should and then and then on the this was uh, Holy cow, 1982. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago? Anyway, there you go. So this is um, this is a uh, small press that, as far as I know, all they were doing was printing was printing um, printing uh, things on Ireland, things about Ireland, mostly music. I got a couple of other small pamphlets that they'd done, but this was gorgeous, and uh, I was I treasure it. I'm afraid I treasured it a little too much because the cover is gone, but um, but I will never get another one because they don't exist anymore. Anyway, so this is a small press publication by Ocean from Ireland. Um, there you go, Ireland. So then another one which I ran into uh, via my favorite at the time bookstore, which was the other Change of Hobbit. Um, I came in one day and Dave said, oh, look, here's something you might like. I actually have a few of these. I don't have all of them. Uh, but this is this was a, this was a really nice publication of existing existing authors. Um, Effinger's fine writer, such a sad story, but but a very fine writer. Boudin Knights that was a was a lovely, lovely collection. And this was this was published by Golden Griffin Press, which no longer exists. It was uh, out of, I think, Indiana. And uh, they produced a number of volumes, of which I have a few. And they went out of business in 2015, which is too bad. They've existed since 1997. Something, fortunately, that does happen with, um, with small presses because it's a lot of work and a lot of expense to set up a publishing company. It's a wonderful thing to do, and they can do all manner of fun things with beautiful paper and lovely colophon. <laughs> this colophon does not appear on the on the spine, but it does it does appear inside. And the number of which volume that they had um, that they had come to. So this was number 28 in the entire series. Not sure how far they got. Um, you can see I started getting them in 2003 because that was when I ran into this for the first time and Dave was right. I really do like these, and the paper is 
lovely. This one is um, this one is not illustrated except for the 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 very uh, the very um, um, sort of impressionist. Uh, oops, still not getting this angle right. The impressionist front uh, frontispiece here, front page here, 2003. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the book because anybody who reads science fiction is very well aware of Effinger and Boudin Nights. It's actually pretty famous. What I really enjoyed was the, was the was the printing of it. Just really nice, really nice, really easy to read, beautiful layout. Just a proper job of printing. Anyway, so Golden Griffin um, is a U.S. not local to here, U.S. Um, U.S. publication um, that no longer exists, but is still has a, a place in the hearts of most of us science fiction uh, readers who really like nice books. It wasn't terribly expensive, but it was worth what I paid for it. Um, another one was kind of an oddity. This one, the customer at the shop came in and just renting a violin or doing something. And I said, and we were talking about what she was doing. She said, I just published a book. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it might actually, I don't think it's print on demand because um, because it says, it says it's printed by Oro. It says Oro on the spine here. It says Oro on the spine. It's a kind of a cool book. It's not something I usually collect, but somebody comes in your shop and they say, I have a book I just wrote and I'm selling copies of it. And uh, there I am and I have my wallet out. And they said, well, I'd like to buy one. Well, I'd like to sell you one. <laughs> Fancy that. So this is called The Fantastic Seashells of the Mind. Front cover is very shiny. Let's see if I can get that. Um, this is a... Um, book about an architect, which is uh, Mark Mills, and the, the author is Janie Bennett, and I met Janie Bennett because Janie Bennett sold me this book. She had a, ba a bag full of them in her, in her car. Um, it's kind of a cool cover because it's it's spineless. It's just, a, you know, it's obviously bound, but it's, you can see that is that there's no, there's no f fabric cover, and so it's kind of a nifty thing, and it's like kind of the olden days. It's got the, it's got the name of the, of the, uh, the, 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 the the person about who she's writing is, is, is there on the on the spine, printed in there. Um, this is worth taking inside. It's signed. Yes, I did buy it off of Janie. <laughs> uh, it's a fun book. Um, I don't know. I don't know too much about Oro. I did look them up to make sure I wasn't completely off the mark. So I didn't, didn't realize it's Oro Editions, and maybe it's a subset of some gigantic publishing firm. But they would hardly be letting Miss Bennett wander around selling them out of her the trunk of her the boot of her car, so to speak, uh, if it wasn't a pretty small operation. Um, this one I am um, this is uh, this is the this is a title page there. It's pretty. It's a seashell. This is not about seashells. This is about a Frank Lloyd Wrightian architect and oh my goodness. Uh, well I guess there's some bookshelves in there but it's just really beautiful and it's 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 a total book for the shelf. It's a small press as far as I can tell. Um, she's doing a lot of the uh, promotion herself. And, um, and I'm very glad to have this little guy here on my shelf. It's, I think it's somewhere out of Texas. Anyway, the last one before I open up Ireland over here, the last one is a very, very local small press, which has been around for quite a while. And it is Haiti Books. And this is really close to home because this actually is from my own past, the Battle for People's Park, Berkeley, 1969. We moved to Berkeley in 1965, and we were right there. Anyway, I love Heyday Books. They do such wonderful publications, and you can see so that colophon is right there on the cover, and it's H with three acorns on top. Heyday specializes, and that's the other thing that's great about small press books, is that they press is that they tend to have specialties that they they are doing their press operation because they're passionate about a particular thing. I think you'll see that with the, the one from Ireland because it's, uh, I think they're going to stick to printing things, books, novelists about Ireland, which is actually pretty exciting. Sorry about the glare there from the window. It's been a very, very bright day today and we're not done with it yet. Anyway, so Haiti Books has, their specialty is books by Californians and or about California. So I have a very, very funny uh, book of, um, of uh, anecdotes of Mark Twain. Pretty funny guy. Well, he was, a, uh, he was one of the uh, uh, editors or, or the um, um, producers of, of articles for uh, the Chronicle in early days of San Francisco and some pretty funny stuff in there. I'll, 
quite get that run to that one one of these days. Uh, but Heyday published it. They do some hardbacks, some really, really beautiful ones. This one here is um, actually got a lot of pictures and um, a lot of pictures. I was actually looking for pictures of myself because, yeah, you know what? I was there, <laughs> but I didn't actually see any. There's a lot of people I know from the olden days, but I was pretty young then. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is uh, People's Park. That was a thing. And I was there, and so I was pretty happy to have this book, and I was very glad that it was Heyday Books that had done it, because that is their specialty. So there's a small selection of small press books on my shelves, which I um, am very happy to have. And now for the unboxing. Ha! Ah, I have not opened it. You hope that the right thing is in there. <laughs> Here it is. So, um, Tool and I know how to use it. All right, carefully, carefully now. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we have a little bit more packing inside. That's great. I do like a, I do like a well packed, a well packed package. Um, I will let them know that their packing job is brilliant. Let's hope that it's the right thing inside. I hope I know. It's the first time I've done an unboxing before the public. <laughs> all right. There's that. And there it goes, all nicely wrapped up in tissue with a with a pretty little bookmark in case i happen to be in conseil someday i can bibliotherapy there you go simon prim look at that there's a thing um main street 43 main street conseil county cork if i were in cork i could drive there but i'm not i'm here in california so here we go time to open it and there it is aha as advertised. This is called A Time of Ostriches. I love the pricey when they were reading what the what the book was about. It is a novel by an Irish person based in Ireland. It is um ooh, I like these I like these covers. So this is a this is a soft back with a very elegant very spare, very elegant. Um, this is the unbound, the, the, the cover taken off. The cover is pretty spare too, but um, that, that's very elegant. And the cover, ooh, let's, do a, let's do an unwrap here. So this is, this is the cover. You can't see me, but ha, ha, I can see you. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. So they've got a little colophon, which is pretty nifty looking. That's pretty fancy looking for a, uh, <laughs> for a little press. This is, um, I guess this is going to be their coffin. Oh, there is an animal. I think it's their shop dog, which is adorable. I follow them on Instagram, uh, Prim Books. Is that the name of their Instagram page? I don't know. It's probably on here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, yeah, at Prim Bookshop, at Prim's Bookshop on Instagram. I follow them. <laughs> they have pictures of the dog. They do live music there. I um, wish I weren't in sale. <laughs> It'd be so nice. Anyway, so S.K. Francis has written a book. Right, let's just see if we put them all back together again. S.K. Francis has written a nice book here, and there's a little cover detail. It's a really pretty color combination. So really did, did a nice job on, on the design of this. Very simple, but very elegant. Okay, so there you go. S.K. Francis is a novelist, columnist, and writer of short stories. Jacket design by Shelley Dobson. Image by Tal. Published by the Prim Press. Their very first. Well done, Prim Books. I'm prim Press now. I was so happy to get this. Oh, look at it. It's got a, a little insert. It tells me even more about the book before I even get there. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. That is the goods. Okay. So, the Time of Ostriches Trilogy. Ah, but wait. There's more. There will be more to come tells the rich and multi-layered story of the Cancinos, an extended prosperous family dispersed across Europe and the Middle East at the outbreak of World War II. The three books follow the fortunes of these individuals and of those dearest to them through eight years of tumult, hope, fear, survival, and loss. Their experiences together with that young Scottish officer who becomes close to the family form the heart of this exquisite series of novels. This is book one. Written with wit and pathos, they chronicle the choices these characters make over time and how each comes to reevaluate the meaning of home. 
Book one covers the years 1938 to 1940, when upheaval in Europe and the darkening clouds of war threatened to keep the family apart and lead each to start their own uncertain journey. So I was wrong when I said it was about Ireland, but it is by an Irish person. So, Time of Ostriches going to be on my reading list very soon because now I have it. Took a little while to get here from Ireland, but I'm happy to have it now. So thank you very much, Prim Bookshop and Prim's Press. Um, I will have some fun with this. Anyway, that is my short, short video for today um, on uh, my first unboxing on YouTube and um, a little teeny little tiny dissertation on, on small press books. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing a little reading very soon. I'll be knowing all about ostriches. <laughs> Any hot moment now. <laughs> for now, bye-bye. <laughs>